Are you ready to stop the self-sabotage and create the life you desire? Well, in order for that to happen, you need to break free from the bad beliefs that are holding your success hostage. You need to optimize the stress by turning it into extra energy for success. And those hurtful habits? Well, we need to give that pain a purpose for progress. Welcome to Stop the Self-Sabotage and Create the Life You Desire podcast. So I made this little ditty for you. Rules restrict, boundaries bless. Get them confused and you're a hot mess. So you're going to have to be hot and passionate about getting your goal. But instead, you're hot and bothered about everybody else that is stealing your focus. They're, they're dumping their junk on you and they're, they're taking your time, your precious resources uh, to go from goal setting into goal getting. And your life is about them and what they've got going on. And it can be as simple as that friend that consistently text messages you 15 minutes after you were supposed to meet going, oh, I'm running late. And she is asking you then to break the boundaries of you, the container that holds your magnificence and brilliance and allow that energy then to support her because she misplanned again. Okay, so uh, think of it like this. You've got uh, a goal that you want to achieve, and it's at the peak. It's at the mountaintop, and you're going up the pyramid of progress. But you are having to drag everybody and their bad habits with you. How much longer is it going to take you to get there? How much more exhausted are you going to be? Because there, there is something known as goal-getting fatigue. And that's what happens whenever you're not free to operate in in your unique brilliance because everybody else is taking a piece of you. And it doesn't have to be, be the big crisis, chaos, and confusion situations. It's the day-to-day things. It's the day-to-day experiences that will absolutely wear you out and keep you from getting where you need to be. All right, so how do we begin to turn this all around? Well, we want to understand the difference between boundaries and rules. Boundaries bless rules restrict. We have to have both of those. Boundaries are all about you. Think of it as a container for your brilliance. You know, I'm I'm drinking a cup of coffee right now and that coffee is inside a mug. That's the boundary because if it wasn't there, it would be spilled all over the desk and it's hot. So I'd wind up getting burned. So a boundary is all about you, but you were taught not to have boundaries because boundaries are assigned to somebody who is separate. And we've been talking about this all month of August, how you were taught to merge with someone else. You were not separate. You were an extension of them. So you were taught not to have boundaries, but the subconscious mind needed to have something there to go off of. So there is something that this is what I can expect. These are the standards. And that's when rules come into play. And rules always restrict. They they restrict access, they restrict energy. And so instead of boundaries, which was a container for you and what was phenomenal about you, so you could then move forward using the best parts of you, you were taught to restrict your energy flow. And those um, restrictions were going to be based on you trying to protect yourself. 
Well, the subconscious mind, which is uh, runs all of your habits and patterns, and success or failure is simply a habit and pattern. The subconscious mind only has two speeds: progress or pain avoidance. And when you're in pain avoidance, you're never getting where you want to be in order to turn those dreams into reality. So you're stuck in trying to avoid everything that might hurt you. You're in that pain avoidance. Rules are not meant to be around people. Rules are situationally dependent. They are context-oriented. Boundaries are around people. And so when you have the two of those confused, you'll put in restriction to keep from getting hurt because you're wanting to avoid pain, but because the subconscious mind does not understand how you want it to move forward. It just understands what it needs to avoid. You never get into that level of achievement. Because it's continuing to find the people, places, and things that will mimic the original story of when you got hurt, and you will keep replaying that story out again and again and again. And it was all because there were missing boundaries. And it's all going to be different for each of us. Um, Boundaries, when they are missing is how someone gets into your container of energy and they begin to take pieces out of you for them, your focus, your emotions, your actions. And also keep this in mind, people never reach down to use others in this way. They will always reach up. So it is somebody that has something that they want and because you were taught to merge in this area. That's how they get through the crack in your boundary to get into your container of energy is because this is the weak spot. Okay. So boundaries, um, I'll give you two examples from two clients I've worked with just this week. Uh, One was taught that she had to perform. Uh, mom remarried and mom gave her the message that to keep this guy from leaving like what your dad did, you're going to have to be on your best behavior all the time. So she's performing being the best little girl she can be because she thinks that's going to get her love. But, but that's not what happens because what you do to perform is what they'll use to push you down. So not only is she performing for the new family, well, then that new person has an extended family and they're telling her, no, we don't like you uh, for whatever reason. And so if she just performs a little bit more, she's looking for love but she's getting just connection. Now, what does that show up like today? In her business, she feels like a fraud. It's known as the imposter syndrome because she's constantly performing, not based on her brilliance and who she really is, but based on what others expect her to be. This is a form of people-pleasing. And so what is it that they need her to be? And by the way, whenever we started talking about this and she realized it is all performance based, even in her love relationships, she's going, oh my gosh, everything's a fraud. I'm going to have to tear it all down. Now, tomorrow we're going to be talking about, let's see, the three things in leadership that will take you to the top and then keep you there. Uh, The first one is wisdom. The second one is discernment. And the third one is spiritual or identity maturity. Now, does that sound very mature to be going, oh, everything's a fraud. I've got to get rid of everything. And she's grieving because she thinks all these relationships she's built up to this point are all a source of pain. And they're not. They're actually a foundation that she can use 
to start drawing better boundaries around herself. But then she has to discover what's great about her and what boundaries need to be in place so others can no longer utilize that in a dysfunctional way. And it's different for each of my clients. Okay. Uh, My other client was taught, don't feel your own emotions because you're going to have to do the feeling work for everybody else in the family. And so when the, it finally shows up that she's connected to one of her emotions, oh, she is so ticked off. There is so much anger there. Well, yeah, because it had to build and build and build before she finally realized it's hers. So that's how she was taught, uh, conditioned to break boundaries, is to allow others to merge with her, and then they would give her their emotion and go, here, fix it, and then give it back to me. You can imagine what a mess that can create in your life, especially when you dumb yourself down to what you're experiencing, and then you're hypersensitive to what everybody else needs. So again, boundaries. What is it that she needs to have in place so she can start figuring out what it is that she's feeling and then keep out what others are experiencing? She can have a knowledge of it, but she doesn't have to take it on herself. And these are two very different hypnosis sessions I did with each of them. By the way, uh, for some of my clients, all they need is one session one coaching call and be given the ability on how to discover their own brilliance and they're great in this area. How do you know when you're going to need just one session? When you can walk away from whatever is causing you the challenge. You know, if it's a bad habit like overeating or using another substance like alcohol or food to numb you out and you can walk away from it All you need is one session, and then there's a a coaching call after the hypnosis where we look at how we can accelerate what you experienced in the hypnosis session to work for you even better. Because once the subconscious mind finds something that heightens your emotions, it will amplify it. But the subconscious mind does not make decisions. So this is the reason why you can go from a little ticked off to an absolute rage because the subconscious mind goes, let's amplify it. Oh, we're going in a certain direction. Let's keep it moving. So if you can walk away from that that experience and not have to have it in your life again, one session. If you need to learn how to develop a relationship with that area of your life and who you need to be in that area, well, you may find that you need additional assistance. So when a client comes to work with me for the first time, it is two and a half hours of coaching as well as a hypnosis session. Then one to three weeks later, you have your follow-up Accelerate Your Success coaching call. I also give you a course on how to do this for yourself. And there's typically another bonus in there because generosity is a hallmark of a leader. And so I want you to be equipped to be your very best. That investment is $497 U.S. dollars. If you decide after that that you need additional assistance, then I have what's known as an all-access pass. In just a moment, we're going to get to rules. But I have an all-access pass that was actually developed because I needed to have rules in place around the clients that I had already worked with and and what that situation needed for their continued success. And an all-access pass says you get access to me every single week. It can be an hour and a half for coaching and hypnosis. It can be 45 minutes for coaching. You can um, trade one off for the other, or you can do 
all hypnosis every single week, that hour and a half of coaching and hypnosis every single week, or all coaching every single week. That investment for your all access pass is $4.97 a month, just like your original investment. And you can do it on a month by month basis. But I have to have rules in place on how many I can do like this. And I have four openings. And that is only after you've worked with me the first time. I don't sell packages because that is me determining how much you need. I need to do transfer of authority and transfer of power to you. You need to make the decision. Is it after a month, are we going to continue again? Are you, are you great? Okay. Now, Rules. Rules are around situations. Boundaries are about you. Rules are around situations. And I would have clients coming back and going, okay, I'm seeing great progress, but I need more. And I found that they benefited from this weekly touch, this weekly validation and engagement. And so that's when I put in the rules that say, okay, then if you need additional assistance in moving forward, this is what it looks like. But I had to restrict access. Because, remember, rules restrict. Boundaries bless, rules restrict. Because I would find that I was having previous clients going, well, I just have a couple of questions. And then I'd be on the phone with them 45 minutes for a coaching call. And then they'd be emailing me the next week going, okay, now what's, uh, I got questions on this. And I never liked putting somebody in a package. So I'm like, okay, I need a rule here that restricts open access to me. But it also allows someone else to choose how much they want to engage. And that's how the all access pass came about. Right now, you're using rules as a way to protect yourself instead of boundaries. And you're restricting your ability to be able to move forward. So a, a rule might be, that if somebody shows up, this is what I worked with with one of my clients, uh, with her family members. If somebody showed up with a problem, they could not ask her for their her assistance until they also brought one solution that they came up with. So that was the rule that kept her family and she's got teenagers, young adults. She's got parents that are dependent upon her. And so she's got a lot of people screaming for her time. And that restricted open access to her where people just wanted to use her as a dumping ground and say, here, you figure out how to make this better. No, we'll partner together on it because I know I'm brilliant at this. But I also know that you can be empowered, transfer of authority, let them choose how they want to move forward. So I want to honor you, but I also need to honor the fact that there's a portion of this that I think you can do on your own. So this is what we can do when you come to me with this challenge, come to me with at least one solution that you think you might want to try, and let's go from there. Okay, so I actually have a class that is going a little bit further in depth on this, and we're coming down to the last couple of days where you can see about getting access to it because it is a gifted class only to the clients that I have already worked with. And it is how to soothe yourself without self-sabotage, how to make decisions. You, you then detach from the drama of others so you can be making decisions that actually pull you into your destiny, how to discover your worth without giving yourself away, and how to love without hurting yourself. Again, the only way you can get this class is if we've worked together. And so reach out to me. 1-636-699-7791. Either text or uh, voicemail. 
1-636-699-7791. Let me know that you want to have a consult. We'll do that over the next couple of days. You choose to have your session and the first few days of September, you will be gifted with this class. That's the only way you're going to get the additional information you need to be able to showcase your brilliance because you will have boundaries that bless and rules that restrict. Okay, until we get together again, oh, blessings on your brilliance. It's how you light up the world. And right now the world's a pretty dark place. It needs your light more than ever. So until we get together again, shine it bright.